All right, Brent Porcio of topvelocity.net, and a pitch announcer, Ryan, going to pair him up with Bob Wheatley. Coming out of leg lift, Bob takes the hips more forward and down at the same rate. Coming out of leg lift, Ryan not moving so much uh, as aggressively forward and down at the same rate. So what that does is it puts Bob in a position to where his force vector gets linear enough so he can accelerate his momentum to leg drive. Because Ryan's taking so long, the lift leg starts extending, the glove starts start swinging. Now he's in a position to where this is going to want to transfer weight or start pulling uh, or overcompensating for the lack of momentum uh, to, to drive the, the trunk and drive the energy up uh, the kinetic chain. So you're going to see the front leg kicking and reaching. You're going to see the glove side swinging and pulling. And and then when you hit Bob at front foot strike, you don't see that. You don't. The front leg is reaching a little bit, not as aggressively, but glove side staying closed into front foot. So big difference here. So what what happens is, is when all this is more passive and closed, then this is more active. This is the only leg that's on the ground creating all the propulsion energy, and the arm because the energy and the forces are coming through. The back hip, the arm, back shoulder can pull against it, kind of like a rubber band, and load against it. And then you get all that good hip-to-shoulder separation at front foot strike. All that energy coiled up behind all that po that powerful leg drive. Here, everything swung around, pulled around, so it's pulling everything off the rubber. It's pulling the arm around, dragging the arm around, and then the trunk is just going to react to that. So everything's very rotational. So you see this trunk just just wanting to spin into release, as opposed to, like Bob, the trunk wants to catapult into release because all that propulsion energy hit front foot and the arm was able to load against it, and then all that energy transfers forward. So look at the difference here. And studies link the trunk to the majority of the velocity. That's where most of your velocity is going to come from, and you can see it pitch release. That that's the distance at front foot strike to pitch release for Bob that the trunk traveled. That's a good, you know, 57 degrees. If we go to Ryan here at front foot strike, right as the front leg stabilizes, and we look at trunk orientation and then the pitch release, say right here, okay, and then we do that measurement, you know, almost half the distance traveled, maybe... Yeah, close to half or a little bit more of the distance uh, traveled than Bob. So this is where the power is. The power is once like the the body of the whip. All the energy we push through this range of motion is what's going to dictate how much energy is moving up to the hand. So you can see Bob has considerably enhanced that, and that's due to how uh, the front side was uh, was positioning itself to allow the back side to create the power and the back shoulder to to load and pull back in that process to then catapult maximum forces up the chain. And then at the same time, too, that reduces stress to the arm because more of that is kinetic energy and not you know, arm strength. Um, so Ryan needs to go back to getting better out of the, the delivery with more momentum moving forward and down the same rate, less overcompensation with the big kicking front leg, a big swinging glove side, and really focus on making that passive and allowing the back leg, back hip to create the energy and the back arm to load and, and separate from that energy to then hit front foot and then transfer all that up the kinetic chain.